I'm Archdeacon Rod Bauer and I welcome you to Evening Prayer for Saturday. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He will make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He will refresh my soul and guide me in right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil. My cup shall be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The day is now past, and the night is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father of lights, receive the prayer and praise we offer you as our evening sacrifice. Make us a light for all the world, delivered by your goodness from all the works of darkness, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Psalm 39 I said, I will keep watch over my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will keep a guard on my mouth, while the wicked are in my sight. I held my tongue and said nothing. I kept silent but found no comfort. My pain was increased. My heart grew hot within me. While I mused, the fire blazed, and I spoke with my tongue. Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days, that I may know how short my time is. For you have made my days but a hand's breath, and my whole span is as nothing before you. Surely everyone who stands secure is but breath. We live as a passing shadow. The riches we heap are but a puff of wind, and we cannot tell who will gather them. And now, Lord, what is my hope? Truly my hope is in you. O oh, deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the butt of fools. I was dumb. I did not open my mouth. For surely it was your doing. Take away your plague from me. I am brought to an end and by the blows of your hand. When with rebukes you chastise us for sin, you cause our fair looks to dissolve in putrefaction. Surely everyone is but breath. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Be not silent at my tears, for I am but a stranger with you, a passing guest as all my forebears were. Turn your eye from me, that I may smile again before I go hence and am no more. Lord Christ, eternal word and light of the Father's glory, send your light and your truth that we may both know and proclaim your word of life to the glory of God the Father, for you now live and reign, God, for all eternity. Amen. O 
A reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning at the 15th verse. But I have made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing this so they may be applied in my case. Indeed, I would rather die than that. No one will deprive me of my ground for boasting. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting, for an obligation is laid on me, and woe to me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward. But if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law but under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, that I might by all means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete but only one receives the prize. Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wealth, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For since by one man came death, by another has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Saving God, who called your church to witness that you were in Christ, recon reconciling the world to yourself, help us to proclaim the good news of your love, that all who hear it may be reconciled to you, through him who died for us and rose again and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal One, we bring before you Peter, our Bishop, with Sonia and Charlie, our assistant bishops, we pray that you guide those who have authority over us, especially as we discern the safest way to begin to return to wider ministry. Embrace, we pray, in your eternal grace, the first peoples of this diocese, especially the Awabakal, the Birapai, the Darkenjun, the Giwagal, the Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. Grant that we may listen to their wisdom and join in partnership, that together we may live most fully in this place. Bless, we pray, the people of the Diocese of Guadalcanal and the wider Pacific region as recovering from cyclone damage they now also face the devastation of coronavirus. We pray for Scott, our Prime Minister, for Gladys, our Premier, for all who sit in the National Cabinet. Guide them with wisdom, we pray, as they seek to restore us to our communities, to restore the economy and to keep us safe. We continue to pray for those who have lost loved ones and now grieve because of the coronavirus. For all who have been affected, who have lost their jobs and their livelihoods, we pray for restoration. And in this week where we remember Florence Nightingale, we especially pray for nurses and for healthcare workers. Surround them in your safety as they care for us. We pray for scientists as they seek a cure and a vaccination for COVID-19. Grant them your spirit of inspiration. Holy One, we pray that you shower your blessings upon the clergy and people of the parishes of Christchurch Cathedral, Hamilton, Katara, Lambton, Merriweather and Cooks Hill. Bless also, we pray, the staff and teachers, the students and families of Newcastle Grammar School. Come to visit us, Lord, this night, so that by your strength we may rise at daybreak to rejoice in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Amen.